So um, once you got um, progress in the season of the Defiance, make sure you go to the EDZ and go to the Gulch. Spawn here at this location. And um, basically, if you just keep moving out over this hill, um, it's going to start right, right under this bridge. So um, yeah, this is our starting point. And hopefully, this is going to be easy for you guys. So hopefully, let's, say, let's get this started. So the first one's going to be under this bridge here. Um, I'm just going to call it a white dot. Just keep moving forward. There'll be another one to your left. Then there'll be another one on the top of this sign. Then if you head straight up to the left side up this road up this hill, there'll be one another white dot over here. And if you make your way over the bridge on top of this other side of this hill right here, there'll be the last white dot will be over here. And if you look up in the sky here, as you look up in the sky, you will see this little weird white weird stuff. Um would be a tunnel that leads right into this. And this is where it starts the quest. And by the way, if you're not 18 to 100, you're going to have a rough time doing this. So uh, double check this. So make sure you make your way down here to this little elevator. Keep pushing your way in. And um, there's going to be a VEX right there. Um, if you look at the bottom here, there's going to be moving blocks. So pass it once it goes past you. And uh, just keep moving forward. Um, you're going to get lost in here. So uh, yeah, just keep an eye out where you're going. So make sure um just go this way. If um find a crack to go in, or you're gonna be running in circles constantly. So that's gonna be fun. No, I don't know what the hell that thing is. A little diagram that popped up. Um, make your way down. Um, make sure you're jumping because you can take a lot of fall damage here. And make your way down into the green hole, into another. Just digest to how cool this looks. Like it looks phenomenal. You're gonna go right into a little checkpoint here and you're going to do a little parkour here jumping between jumping between um objects here and onto this main objective here so this main thing is you have to look at this wall over there where it says the symbols and you shoot the symbols correlating to whatever it says over there so um that's basically all you do just shoot the symbols in order Correlating to what I'm shooting here on my screen and it's basically you do that every time and you find it Around the map and it's pretty simple. I had actually figured this out by myself I didn't look up a video on it or anything. I just did it myself and tried to figure everything out by myself So uh, as you see there you have the summer reds right, right there and I shoot them in order and It's pretty simple and easy. So you should not have a hard time doing this part, which is pretty simple and easy and um, if you guys have any questions below, I'll comment below and I'll answer them right away. I'll try to. And um, as you get all the, through these done, um, you're going to have to clear the room, clear the Vex, and uh, defeat the Vex. And um, you have to just kill them all, it's basically. So I uh, used Strand, made it so much stuff easier. I'll make sure, watch out with the turrets around her, because they can beam the hell out of you. So make sure you're using a sniper or whatever, losing. I fuse a rifle, just make sure to take this out. I mean, see here, go to the next room. There's going to be more set of symbols. Basically, you do the same thing as you did with the last room. You just repeat the cycle, and it's pretty easy and simple. Find the symbols, shoot them in order, and basically, you just keep doing the same thing. And, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. So if you have a hard time finding the symbols, make sure you look around the room. Clear the ads as you go, because you're, you're going to be getting hit harder here. Especially at 1800 power, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, finish our last one here. Defeat the rest of the Vex, like we did the first one. I pull up my super, cleared out the ads, cleared all the Vex out, and um, watch out for the watch out for the explodey Vex. They will, you know, they will tingle your butt a little bit. Keep moving forward. It's gonna be a little platforming here, so make sure you don't fall off the map here. It's really easy to fall off the map. There's gonna be a Vex around this area, so make sure you're parkouring. On these edges here, make sure you don't fall off. If you head over here, there's gonna be another hole we can go into. That's what she said. And keep moving forward. It's gonna be a little optical course here with the triangles moving back and forth. So when it goes back out, just literally just keep going in. That's what she said. So just keep on moving forward into these edges here. And uh, there'll be Vex 
around the edges here and get a shoot. And uh, yeah, this parkour can be really hard right here. So make sure you don't fall off the map here. And um, as I'm talking over this footage, I'm actually like leaning over my chair because of how like scary this is. And um, yeah, if you're really um, afraid of heights, this is going to be a bad mission for you. Basically, you just jump platform to platform. And once you get right here, everything's going to be a little slanted here. So make sure you tilt your head over and you don't fall off right here and there's gonna be more moving objects here so make sure you don't run into them they will boost you off and kill you instantly so just watch out and it's time to write it's basically it's just basic moving objects honestly if you ever played wipeout it's basically that um yeah just keep moving forward keep clearing out the ads keep clearing the vex and uh keep jumping to platform to platform this is really simple here so um yeah don't die right here either and we're going to another rally banner here, which is, this is going to be fun. So basically, yep, let's go in that place to here. And uh, we're going to go into this little thing. Uh, basically, if you ever play Gambit, this literally works the same way. So uh, let's clear all the ads, pick up these, pick up, gather all the data and put them into that white thing. And basically you just, Recycle it. They're like nodes from like Gambit or something. You just pick them up here, clear all the ads, kill them, pick them up, put them in, and you'll get a a, a damage phase, and you just repeat it until you kill a boss, which is pretty simple. So once you're done with that, make your way over here into the node core. So this is a big jump right here. So watch out, you don't. This one was a scary jump. I thought I was gonna make this. I actually had to time this one really well. Which is crazy. So make sure you don't die right here. And there would be more Vex on the way right here. Which is pretty interesting. I probably didn't miss my hammer right there. Uh, I don't know, know what these weird dialogue is right there. It must be a part of the map. Jump over here to your left. There's going to be more. Little parkour here. So make sure you don't fall off. And there's going to be more Vex you have to shoot. And just basically just keep, keep pushing up. So this is basically the same moving objects that we have before basically there's a different color and they're just you know they're really annoying you get stuck on too so jump up go into this little thingy that boosts you off and uh just kill the vex once again and there's gonna be more platforming right here so watch out make sure you don't fall off and uh move your way down as the platforms are moving consistently so make sure you don't fall off here more vex so watch out taking more damage Go make a little lefty righty, go around that, slide down the sill like you're at the park for the very first time going down a slide. And here's the biggest jump of your life, and you better put your seatbelt on because this one's really rough right here. Yeah, look it up. So keep pushing up until you do another portal right here. You have right of that. And look at the round view, look at all the scenery, it looks fantastic. The colors look amazing. If the raids like this, it's gonna be amazing too. Put your banner down once again. And basically, this first part is you just clear all the ads, do as much damage as to the boss as you can. And um, I use my exotic fusion rifle because it does the most damage, which is amazing. And I love using it because it does so much damage to high damage bosses, which is really awesome. So basically, you're going to get to the second part here. Basically, you're going to do the same thing. What I did in my game is I couldn't find the symbols, so I just shot to each symbol that, that allowed me to shoot me to do damage to. I shot them until the next phase started, and I shot the boss, go into the portal, and we'll start the next phase. You can damage him, and um, yeah, just keep damaging him until he basically dies. Yeah, basically that's literally it. So uh, yeah, I got a little nervous here at the end. I thought I was going to die here because it kept getting... I like shot him so hard, like his head went backwards or something. It was weird. And this is like the last bit apart right here like after you kill him you basically have the the exotic glaive oh well, another one i wish destiny would, would have done a different weapon but if you go over here and after this you receive the final step which is going to the helm and getting this exotic which is pretty awesome there is a catalyst to this which i'm gonna make a video separately which is gonna be much harder than this as seeming this exotic so if you guys really enjoyed this video hopefully i explained this very well i'm trying to get better at this and um here's a little bit of gameplay of the exotic wave i hope you guys really enjoy this hit that bell notification to never miss a video and um yeah subscribe to the channel
We try to upload every single day. Comment below if you guys are confused or anything. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.